Hey guys, Ben Paints here and today we're back once again for another video and this time we are at Bayford Meadows for the fifth round of the Club 73 weekend series. Really excited for this one as this was the first outdoor round that we did in both championships in SRK and Club 73 last season. So we're going to hop into this one today and see how we get on. Now we are starting in ninth place in the A final so right near the back I believe we're fourth from the back so just going to get on track see what we can do. Obviously we've got five minutes practice followed by a 30 minute race so we're just going to get cracking and get into some footage now before we get into the rest of the video if you do enjoy this one can you please leave a like on the video down below as i really do appreciate it and if you're new to the channel if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button as it really does help me out i am struggling with a bit of hay fever so luckily i've been able to record this without snot running down all my face but without further ado we're going to jump into the footage now and see how we get on today So we're going to jump straight into the race then guys, didn't want to show you any of practice just because it was quite long and it was just us hot lapping around the track. So I want to jump straight into the action here and as you can see we were lining up in ninth position and we're hoping to just power our way forward and see how many places we can pick up. Now we make an early one into the second corner on Toby McAllister Brown, moving ourselves up from ninth into eighth place. Really happy to make a quick position here and then we are sitting more to the middle of the track just to try and defend from any re-overtakes that are going to happen. You can see Harrison Kirkham here on our left hand side so we sort of set, show him to the left hand side of the track obviously going into a right hand corner allows us to keep the position then in behind Samuel Essery who is up ahead in seventh and I knew that I needed to try and get through the pack as quickly as possible as this is one of the first races we've done this year where we're right at the back of the pack so I've known an experience at Club 73 if you don't make moves early and get yourself forward then the front group of drivers are just going to break away and any chance of a solid result result is just going to slip out of your grasp so you can see here coming through the last sector of the track really throwing the car into the chicane at the end the last couple of corners and we then tuck in behind Samuel Essery for the end of the first lap didn't want to hang around too long once again as I mentioned so we make a late move into the first corner sort of switching from left to right and we're able to move ourselves up into seventh place then early as well so really happy with that two positions in the first couple of laps or in the first lap and the start of the second lap so we'll say the first lap and now we were looking to defend our position whilst also pushing forward to try and catch up with the other guys up ahead however you can see that we are getting a couple of bumps from behind which obviously threw us offline a little bit loses a bit of our momentum and you can see here I'm trying to say look let's work together let's try and move forward however Harrison Kirkham was having absolutely none of it sending it up our inside into the fast sweeping section of the track I knew at this point once he got past that I just wanted to try and follow him along and really motor towards the front as every race he seems to make his way from the back to the front of the pack so I knew if I sat in behind him followed him through as he made Made some positions then we'd be on for a pretty solid result so we're coming down and across the start finish line once again I'm saying to him look let's move forward let's, work, let's push ahead let's not sort of battle each other too much and let's try and catch up with the guys that are battling one another he shows me some very good sort of lines here that he's going to take sort of preempting his strike and you can see here dives up the inside of Lawrence Hardwick there on the left hand side so we're able to just follow him through and actually to our surprise we were then able to get a good run on him as well so that allows us to move up into sixth position which I was quite happy with here and now I knew pretty early that Harrison was, wasn't going to sit behind us for too long so he resends us into the hairpin sections which I obviously wasn't too disappointed with as we still gained one position out of the first half of the of the lap and now we're going to try and look to push forward with him once again and make our way up towards some of the other drivers as well unfortunately we take a bit too much of the curb there on the left hand on the left hand sweeping corner before sweeping around to the right the double or triple triple right hander here and we just stay flat out pinned to the floor here using all the rumble strips on the left hand side and then throwing the cart in once again as I mentioned into the chicane section as we really were able to carry quite a lot of momentum into that last corner and you can see here it is reflecting in our lap times of 103.380 and as that's happened sort of Harrison's gone down the inside of Jack Goldsmith who's up ahead of us as well so another very talented driver that I was hoping to maybe try and find a way past however I thought at this point in the race there's no point battling too much I know that the two drivers up ahead of us are very good 
fast, solid drivers. So if we just sit in behind them, then we'll, they'll be able to sort of carve a path through for us. You can see Harrison is doing that, sending the move up the inside of Joshua Bull. Unfortunately, he hasn't been able to sort of pull it off. However, we are now in the front pack of drivers. Now, unfortunately, to my display here, Josh sort of waves through Harrison here, which obviously then leads to Jack going through. And unfortunately for him, he sort of gets pinned to the outside. So we sort of slide back over to the inside there to just follow Josh through as I obviously from a lot of the indoor cart that we do the inside line is always key in these rental carts so just by holding that inside line and pushing Josh through that has now given us a free position on Jack Goldsmith so we're able to push ourselves up into sixth position however we do skip forward in this one a little bit a couple of laps later just because we were just going around in the train at this point and not too much was happening now we've got Adrian up ahead of us who was leading the race for a short while however unfortunately he just had a little bit of an incident pushed him back down the order and much like our our previous overtake on Jack Goldsmith we're now doing able to do the exact same thing on Joshua Bull who sort of helped us do it the first time and this now allows us to move up into fifth position so I was really happy with this at this point in the race we've moved from ninth up to fifth and now I was really hoping to try and work with Adrian to push him back towards the front of the pack obviously the front three are going to be having a sort of battle with one another we've got Tyler Ball up at the front who is a pro class driver we've got Ben Johnson and Harrison Kirkham in third place so I thought that if we could sit in behind Adrian here we'd be able to push him along and we'd be able to catch up with some of the other guys up ahead however unfortunately I found that Adrian's car was just a little bit off the pace and I could see he was lacking coming down the straights and unfortunately for us we just sort of left the door open while we were trying to push along with Adrian this allows Sam May to slot up our inside going into the first hairpin there in that section of the track and this drops us down into sixth we then had to look to defend however once again, we skip forward in this one as we were just sort of sat in the train and now we're trying to make moves on Adrian as much as we can. We can see the front group of four is now beginning to pull away where Adrian is beginning to defend in his car. So I knew that we had to try and make a move on him if we stood any chance of getting one of those top four positions which are now racing away into the distance to get a decent run out of the second corner. However, unfortunately, we just lock up the brakes there on the inside. Didn't want to send it in too hard as I had seen in a race previously that someone had been spun out doing just that. And with our lack of momentum coming out of the corner, we then leak not one, but two positions. Able to get our seventh place back once again from Luke Power, who was behind us. But just the sort of drive out of the corner just left us stranded a little bit here. You could see once again that we skipped forward as we were just in the train even more. And now we're up behind Adrian once again. We're really desperate to try and get past now at this point. He's been defending really well for this whole race in a cart, which just didn't look to be on the pace as much as some of the others you can see i'm really trying to put him under pressure now weaving left and right to really try and confuse him we are getting a little bit of a bump from the back from luke power once again who's then looking to go around the outside into the hairpin sections of the track and luckily for him he's able to slot it up the inside coming out of the left hander to lead down the back straight here and he's able to claim his position up into seventh place so we're back down into eighth which is only one position up from where we started so at this point in the race, I was getting quite frustrated as I was really disappointed to have lost all the positions that we've been able to sort of acquire earlier in the race. And I could see that the top four are now jetting away into the distance. So I knew at this point I had an absolute mountain to climb if I wanted to get anything else from the rest of this race. So we come across the line there and we skip forward a few laps as this is where Luke and Adrian find themselves to become unstuck here. So... Luke tries to go up the inside of Adrian into that corner, just pushes him out wide and it just compromises the pair of them. I tried to capitalise on it as best I can going into the chicane, losing our momentum coming out of the chicane but we're able to hold it well by just holding the inside of the track there on the right hand side and we're able to take a little bit of a bump from Adrian which then allows us to push forward, hold sixth position and then look to try and get some good lap times in. Now obviously where we've been battling with these two for such a long time we were sort of on similar pace to Jack who's up ahead of us but you can see the gap here has opened up and you can see the gap that the front four have been able to sort of break away and open up so you've got Harrison and Sam May the top two guys which are always at the front they've broken away now and then you've got Tyler Ball and Ben Johnson having a battle for third place and Jack is then closing in on them in fifth now at this point in the race I was getting bumped from behind from Luke Power who was looking to make moves on me however you could see from my frustrated sort of signal I wanted to try and work with him 
rather than battling over sixth position as it's a bit of a lower position there's a lot more points to be gained as there's still quite a bit of time left in this race i said look let's work together let's push forward and try and at least catch up to jack who's in fifth to try and secure yourself a top five position now the lap you are about to watch here is in fact my fastest lap of the day and our fastest lap of the race which was only three tenths off the fastest lap in this one which i'm really happy with obviously due to our weight disadvantage which on a track which is a minute long is always going to be prevalent so coming around the first couple of corners here taking it nice and tight and tidy see i'm still looking over our shoulder here using all the track that we can really throwing the car in through this first hairpin one that i was really struggling with all day and a corner that i also also struggled with last year when we came here and obviously that was when it was our first outdoor sort of experience or competitive one last year so what is to really try and nail that one down this year when we went but unfortunately we just didn't seem to get it under control coming through the last or latter stages of of the lap here we're taking the smooth sweeping corners really well just really using all the track that we can trying to stay as tight as possible going over the curbs here into the last couple of corners and really flicking the cart in once again through the chicane section clipping the tires on the inside there but we do come across the line with a 102.943 second lap times you can see i'm giving luke a bit of a thumbs up because he was giving us a bit of a bump down the straight you can see i'm doing it again there as it was really allowing us to catch up to jack and actually it was also helping us to catch up to tyler and ben who were up ahead as well i knew that there wasn't going to quite be enough time left in the race to catch up to harrison and sam who had jetted off into the distance but i thought if we kept working together then we'd be able to really get a bit more out of this race taking a wide line into the hairpin sections here once again carrying as much momentum through each of the corners as we can going on the back straight here using all the track that we can to really push the cart forward and again coming into the sweeping corners here near the end of the lap trying to get as tight to each of the apexes as we can without using the curbs on the inside as these are very detrimental to the momentum that you sort of lose especially being a heavier person if the cart bogs down at this track it is very difficult to get it going again in these new carts so once again really flicking the cart through the corner into the last chicane and again we come across the line with a pretty similar lap time of a 103.134 and at this point in the race Luke said that he'd had enough of working with us, sent it down our inside into the first corner and I tried to sort of hang it around the outside, almost force my way into the side of him to sort of just preserve as short a line as we can but unfortunately he did get past us pretty easily there. Now we do skip forward once again as Luke was able to then jet off obviously due to his weight advantage and he then sort of jetted past jack as well as quickly as he could and you can see the gap that he's been able to open up now as he's making his way towards ben and tyler and at this point i said enough was enough of sitting behind jack in this race send it up the inside into the second corner a bit of a rough move but we're able to pull it off there and that then moves us back up into six so we have actually managed to gain three positions so far in this race which i was really happy with a bit disappointed obviously at the start because we sort of already made these three or four positions and then lost them once again so we'd sort of made all the positions gone back to where we started and now we've begun to make some positions up once again and at this point in the race we were rounding out towards the end of it so i knew at this point in the race we really had to get our head down if we wanted to catch up with luke whilst also being wary over our shoulder of jack who was hot on our tail as well as I thought in the back of my mind he was going to resend it on us at any moment. So coming into the last came once again, going a bit squirrely there and losing a bit of momentum. But we do look over our shoulder. You can see Jack is right up behind us. And we come across the line with a 103.127. Now, we do skip forward in this one once again for the part of 50th time in this one as nothing else really happened for this race so we jump in here for the very last lap of the race you can see that the gap to Luke up ahead has not really changed and if anything it's actually opened up slightly and there was also a little bit of a gap behind to Jack we've been able to sort of open that up as well so we weren't under immense pressure as we were driving around so at this point in the race I knew it was just a case of could we put in the fastest time that we could to try and improve on our faster lap so far obviously this didn't happen as we just didn't drive the best lap here at the end as I think the pressure was off a little bit and I knew that I was going to finish in sixth place now obviously at this point again you can see I'm still looking over my shoulder I was still wary to see if Jack was able to pull something out of the bag coming around the last couple of corners or the last lap because he did have a bit of a gap behind us but obviously you never know what can happen he could sort of just 
be sandbagging and spring a huge attack on us at the end of the race. We round out the last two corners here and then we come into the chicane once again, trying to get as tight as possible to those tyre barriers, really have to be brave through there and we come across the line on the last lap with a 103.073 to finish in sixth position, which I was quite happy with but also quite disappointed with, as you can see from my hand chester there. Nice respect there from myself and Jack. Obviously went for the fist bump and got completely rejected as he didn't see. However, this was a really fun race. Let's see what we thought about it. Okay then guys, so we've just finished our race in the A final, finishing in sixth position, which I'm quite happy with, but also quite disappointed with, as I think there was a little bit more to extract from that race. We managed to make a few positions early on, getting through the pack, but unfortunately we did get stuck in the train one or two times and just found it quite difficult to get past without being overly aggressive. So pretty decent day not the best but still really happy with going forward into the rest of the season and with this in mind i'm going to leave the overall points for the championship up on the screen now after five rounds don't know where we are at the moment but let's see where we've ended up after that one our next round is at buckmore for round six so really looking forward to that one as it's always a good track and a bit of a fun day filled with some sort of entertainment there on our front so we are going to have that one in the next one for club 73 we are also heading down to dunk 12 tomorrow at the time of recording so really looking forward to that as well but in the meantime this does in fact bring us to the end of the video guys so i hope you have enjoyed this one if you have can you please leave a like on the video down below as i really do appreciate it and if you're new to the channel if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button as it really does help me out but in the meantime i'll catch you guys in the next one take care